Okay, we're connected. Yes. How was your Friday? Busy. We were Busy. opening a new um, Algoma program in aviation. Um, so we're going to have 200 pilots uh, in downtown Brampton starting September. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, we, we actually did a campaign and a couple of our um, uh, teammates uh, went up on a plane. So <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't go. So let's get started. A lot of questions. Um, are you for or against a vaccination policy for the city of Brampton employees? So I think every city will have a vaccination um, policy. And so we are in the process of developing ours in in, in Brampton, I think a few cities, Toronto uh, was the first to announce, Mississauga just came up with theirs and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, a balance found in, in Brampton very soon. We have a, a council meeting on it uh, that I'm sure you're well aware of and uh, we're looking forward to getting the input from our labor organizations. We're gonna be having the Brampton Professional Firefighters Association, um, ATU, which is our transit union and QP, um, share their perspectives on what they feel the best balance is um, in terms of uh, the, um, the Toronto approach, which is terminations, the yeah. middle of the road approach, which is Mississauga, which, is, um, which doesn't re re include terminations, but it requires testing for those that aren't vaccinated, um, or the region appeal, which is a little bit more moderate than Mississauga, um, and uh, that's a, a request for people to um, state their vaccination status. And so um, you know, I, I really want to encourage uh, vaccines. I think vaccines protect the community, protect our families, and uh, um, whatever tools we can bring to the table that encourage vaccinations, uh, I would consider to be uh, helpful. And so I would encourage uh, those who have um, advice for the city of Brampton to tune in on Wednesday and listen to our labor organizations and to Dr. Lowe as they uh, share uh, their advice. What's what's your opinion, uh, Mayor Brown? Like, what where where do you lean towards? Well, um, I lean towards having a, a vaccination uh, certificate. I, I think it's important um, to know um, uh, that you're going into a safe work environment, and to know that someone's been tested, or someone's been, um, or that someone's uh, been vaccinated is is helps ensure peace of mind. Okay. Uh, we had a headline from Insaga today. Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie is in favor of a Made in Peel Region Proof of Vaccination Program. Um, are you for or against that? Um, should, it, should the province do it or should the municipalities do it or the regions? Well, um, I really think um, when it comes to va vaccination certificates, uh, preferably that there's the same vaccination certificate wherever you live in Canada. Um, yes. Yeah. If internationally you want it to be recognized. And so you have a patchwork of municipalities and provinces that just makes it very disjointed. And so rather than having one, one certificate in Peel, one certificate in Toronto, we're gonna need proof of vaccination internationally. Even if you go to Quebec right now, you need a proof of vaccination. And so um, it becomes very complicated when there are hundreds of different uh, forms of identification. And um, right now there are internationally recognized provincial um, identifications like driver's license, health cards, and federally you have passports, uh, uh, social insurance numbers that uh, um, are um, internationally recognized. And so it, it really would be helpful if you had um, a common system across the country. Do you, do you think the province will do this or do you think they'll leave it up to the feds for kind of the traveling one? It, it, it's still to be um, uh, determined. Uh, I, I think right now, province sort of leaning towards the feds and the feds sort of pointing towards the provinces. Okay. Uh, this week you, you stated the five asks for the, um, that you want from the federal leaders. Um, do you want to touch on them? Yeah. So uh, elections are a great time to highlight what our um, needs are and see which candidates are going to go to bat or which uh, parties are going to go to bat for the city of Brampton. From my perspective, I'm a partisan uh, agnostic. It, it uh, uh, I just want uh, parties to, to ensure that Brampton has uh, its fair share. And so we put out uh, needs that we have, current federal funding applications we have, and we hope that all political parties will pledge to work on them, whether it's the LRT phase two, the rapid bus transit on Queen, um, funding for our cybersecurity accelerator, the need to have an electrified transit facility, 
our active transportation master plan, those are all current federal funding applications. And I would expect that anyone who aspires to be an MP from the city of Brampton, um, their first loyalty would be not to their political party, but to the city of Brampton and to be ambassadors for us, to be advocates for us. And we put this out there. I want to thank Councillor Medeiros and Santos, who were very eloquent and articulate as they joined me as we, uh, um, on Wednesday, unveiled that, uh, that, that, Bramp that list of Brampton ass. I, I know the, uh, the tunnel uh, is pretty ambitious ambitious ask. Uh, are you afraid that, you know, if let's just say it happens, won't this project take about 10 years to do <laughs> if they dig? So the estimates of the, of the timeline is it wouldn't be any longer than the, the surface route, which okay. um, many advocates um, for. The problem with the surface route is you can never get a consensus around it. And so you, you had a divided community and concerns around traffic congestion and uh, interfering with the heritage elements of the downtown. We managed to get a plan that was endorsed um, unanimously by our council, 11 to zero endorsement. And uh, that in itself is uh, uh, impressive given the fact that this was a, a cause for division before. And uh, what we're asking is just that her heritage element, just in that downtown, that, that small portion would be tunneled. And uh, I would um, add uh, to that, that what we're asking for as a federal contribution is smaller on a per capita basis than the government of Canada has already given to Scarborough, Vaughan, um, Kitchener, Waterloo, Ottawa, Edmonton, Calgary, the list goes on, um, Hamilton. And so, uh, you know, sometimes we're too shy in Brampton. Uh, you know, why can't we ask for our, 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 our fair share on a per, per, per capita level? We've been historically underfunded again and again and again. Maybe this is, you know, sometimes we have this mentality that we only ask for funding as if we're a community of 100,000. We're the ninth largest city in Canada. We're almost 800,000 residents. Um, and we deserve funding that is equivalent to our size. Sure. Uh, have you talked to uh, Trudeau, uh, O'Toole, or uh, Singh in regards to this? So uh, I've spoken to both uh, the Prime Minister and to Air O'Toole um, leading up to the uh, election. I haven't spoken to them during the election, but we'll make sure that uh, this is in front of them. And we're hoping to meet all the, all the national political parties um, about Brampton's request. And we have, uh, we're sending out invites uh, to do so. Nice. Um, have you uh, just talked about the federal election? Have you seen any surprises that surprise you? I think it's very early on in the federal election right now. Um, you know, my sense is a lot more people will be paying keen attention uh, after Labour. Oh, sorry, I think I lost you. Can you say something? <laughs> I can't hear you. Uh-oh. Can't hear you at all. Let me just... You there? Uh, say something though. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you can't hear. Uh, whoops. I think we lost audio. This is not good. So, all right. Uh, Mayor Brown, I guess we might have to end it there. I don't know what happened. You want to pop back in? I'm going to Let's see.